Typically, one 55-gallon drum of concentrated acrylic resurfacer will make close to three 55-gallon drums of mixed material. Start the mixing procedure with approximately one-third of a drum of acrylic resurfacer. Add proper amount of water and mix with a drill mixer. While material is mixing, add the sand slowly. Mix completely until material is smooth and lump free. Be sure to refer to the product specification sheet for detailed mixing and application instructions. Begin applying acrylic resurfacer by pouring a puddle or windrow of material across the court surface. Spread material with a soft rubber squeegee, walking from one side of the court to the other. Continually feed the puddle across the court with fresh material. This is known as keeping the windrow wet. Don't allow the puddle to run dry until you reach the end of the court. This is a non-stop continuous process of adding fresh material and walking side to side with the squeegee to spread the material. For faster coating application, two squeegees can be used at one time. Shown here is a Sealmaster sealer wheeler being used to deposit material into the windrow. The sealer wheeler provides much greater efficiency than 5 gallon pails. Typically, one coat of acrylic resurfacer should be enough. However, in some cases, a second coat of acrylic resurfacer may need to be applied to smooth out extensive repair work. After the coat of acrylic resurfacer has dried completely, walk over the entire court with a scraper and blower to remove any material ridges, rough spots, or protrusions. This is done to ensure a pool table finish of the color coating. 